guys it's me elise and i hope that you guys are all doing well i'm back with a new video so i have a new wig from clay and if you guys check the info section below i will have all the details information and links provided there so here's everything that i received with my wig i received that gorgeous like bedroom slip that i will be wearing yes and also a whole bunch of goodies here is the wig that i have i have their new 13 by 4 inch lace frontal wig it does have those kinky edges the texture is kinky straight the lace is once again 13 by 4 transparent my wig is 24 inches long and this is what it looks like it also has those removable adjustable straps so therefore you can get a custom fit and wear this wig 100% glueless so before i get into this wig i wanted to go ahead and put it on just to show you guys how i received it you guys do notice that the lace is really light so i will be tinting that as well as bleaching the knots i will be shampooing this hair to get it a little more tamed and then i'm going to be flat ironing this hair and i think i'm going to wear this hair in the updo hairstyle as well so i'm going to let you guys see that later on but firstly i'm going to go ahead and bleach my knots i'm just using my 20 volume developer in my l'oreal quick blue bleaching powder i will leave everything that i'm using throughout this video in the info section below so be sure to check that out in case you guys are interested also do keep in mind that clay Yee has their sale going on so you can save 28 percent when you use my code my 28 also do keep in mind that you no longer have to splurge all at once when purchasing from clay Yee. so do take advantage of their four interest-free payments with sizzle you can go ahead and buy now and pay later and it's, I think it's 25% each week, so do keep that in mind. So I'm going to go ahead and finish shampooing and conditioning this wig, and I'll see you guys with the next step. So here is what this wig is looking like after I bleached the knots and shampooed and conditioned. You notice at the beginning of the video, the kinky edges did look kind of dry and kind of smashed together. So if you choose not to do anything with this wig moving forward, definitely shampoo and condition it. The edges will look a whole lot better, a lot more juicier and more coiled and put together. But right now I am just further customizing the wig just to work for myself. You don't have to do this, um, but I just choose to do it because I enjoy customizing my wigs. But I'm just tweezing behind the hairline to make that appearance look more realistic. This is what it looks like. Now I did remove quite a bit of density so do keep that in mind your wig may vary from mine just because I am going in and I am customizing it but once again you don't have to do that part now I'm just applying a little bit of mousse just to kind of slick everything back and like I mentioned before I will be wearing this hair going down as well as in an updo style just to kind of give you guys a few different options on how to wear this hair but for the most part it is absolutely gorgeous look at that gorgeous shine I'm just going to allow that to dry overnight and this is actually a few days later. I'm going to go ahead and just use my duck beak clip to clip up the edges out the way and then I'm going to remove the lace. Keep in mind that you do have that adjustable strap so definitely adjust it to fit your head. Now I'm just using a little bit of foundation to apply to the lace in order to kind of tint that to where it melts right on in with my skin and that is what it's looking like. Now I'm going to go ahead and get this wig on. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure you guys notice the kinky edges is looking kind of crazy, but I have a little tip for you guys. Just take a fine tooth comb and comb those out. You can even comb it in the opposite direction using a little bit of mousse in order to make it look more so like frizzy edges instead of defined curly edges. Put your 
So now I'm taking a little bit of my foamy wrap mousse, applying a little bit around my kinky edges and I just kind of want more control over my edges because I kind of found that they look a bit dramatic. So a good way that you can do that is just by sort of slicking some of the edges back. You can also use a little bit of gel like I am in order to really slick it back and it will hold there in place. And then I'm just pulling some of the kinks forward to look more realistic and not necessarily super overwhelming. To each his own, if the edges really work for you, definitely work with them. But for me, I just kind of want them to look a little more tamed. Now I just cut a couple of them because they were a little on the longer side. Um, but this is what this wig is now looking like. I love the texture, it's super gorgeous. Now, you can definitely flat iron this hair to make it look a lot more tamed, but I kind of wanted a nice, fluffy, kinky, straight look. So I just allowed the wig just to sit and air dry. I didn't even blow dry this hair. I didn't do anything like that to this hair, and I am just loving the kinky texture. You guys, once again, look at the edges. Looks super cute, super adorable. But like I mentioned before, I will be wearing this wig in a updo. So I'm just kind of giving you guys a different styling method. I'm just gonna do a half up, half down. So this is what the style is looking like. Y'all don't pay too much attention to the edges for whatever reason, they're kind of stuck in one position. <laughs> But just apply a little bit of water. You might have to re-glue your wig down. Um, but I really didn't notice at this point in time. But for the most part, it looks good, right? It looks good. Um, but once again, you guys do check out Clayy. I will have all the information and details located in the info section below. Let me know what you guys think about this one. And I'll talk to you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.